Sean Dyche has given his pre-match press conference ahead of Everton's trip to Manchester United on Sunday. The Blues boss confirmed that Seamus Coleman is back training, but this game may well have come a little bit too early for him. Uh, he was asked about, obviously, the international breaks over now. Uh, the manager was asked whether or not having no internationals allows them more time to fine-tune things at Finch Farm. This is what the manager had to say. Well, I think certainly with the international breaks, yeah, but, you know, people often say about us working with a team, but a lot of them are not yeah. here. So, yeah, we, we do get that period, but obviously with the amount of games on the other hand, you only get so many days to work in between the games. So, And some of that period has to be rest phases, you know, especially when we've got people coming back from injury and the like. So uh, we've been stretched this year, so this period will probably stretch us in terms of the player usage and the energy of the players. So there you go. There you go. It's, it's all about the hard work. We've got a lot of games this, you know, in December and, they're going to have to come up with everything, aren't they? They have to use the squad and come up with ways to get results because you know winning two games of football so far this season is unacceptable. Uh, the manager was asked about Nathan Patterson. Obviously, Patterson was injured, got injured at Chelsea last season. He hasn't featured in Everton's first team since. He's played a few under-21 games. He's been training and fit for a while. He was asked whether or not uh, there was an opportunity for Nathan Patterson to leave on loan because there's some couple of stories doing the rounds. This is what the manager had to say. Um, there are some reports today around Nathan Patterson potentially going on loan in January. Who's reporting? Who? It's Tell me online who? saying them. that there are... Oh, I can get my phone oh, okay. out if you want. I can't okay. remember the exact... But there That's are the some claims. That's I think it's right. coming from north of the border saying that Rangers would be potentially... Okay a destination for him, so that's where he's come from. Um, I just wondered if, is that an option for him to go out on loan? Because, and, and why isn't he able to, I know he's had injuries obviously, but he's back in training. Why isn't he able to get into Yeah, we'll, that? we'll decide what happens with the players here, but he's, he's on a journey back from a really serious injury and he continues to be on that journey, but he's going along well. There you go. There you go. I mean, listen, do I think Patterson should, should have a go? Absolutely, I think he should be given a go. And we need, we're going to need all of these players, aren't we? We're going to need all of these players over the next few weeks uh, as we try to get some results. But the managers that said there, they'll decide whether or not uh, he goes out on loan. But right now, he needs to be getting back in our first team. Um, a couple of players who Sean Dyche might be able to call on very quickly is Armando Breuer and Yusuf Chimiti. In fact, the manager indicated Breuer may well be in the Everton squad on Sunday for the game at Old Trafford. Well, they both played this afternoon for the under-21 side. Ch uh, Chimiti managed 62 minutes. Uh, he had a shot in which Luke Butterfield scored a goal for Everton. And then Armando Breuer lasted 72 minutes and he had a shot from which Charlie Whittaker scored for Everton today. However, the Blues were beaten 4-2 by Nottingham Forest of Finch Farm. They had been 4-0 down. But the good thing for those two is minutes in the legs. Obviously, Breuer played 45 minutes at Watford earlier in the week. He's now followed that up with 70-odd minutes today, which is good. And we'll see whether there's any kind of reaction or whether he'll take his place on the Everton bench on Sunday. I don't think this game will it will involve Yusuf Chimiti. I think they'll want him to maybe have another one uh, before he returns to first team action. But you never know. Obviously, Everton have got a busy week, three games in six days. Keep mentioning it. They're going to need all of the players in this squad because they're all probably going to have to play a part in it. Uh, a big moment today for Everton Football Club and for Evertonians as the club has announced season ticket pricing for next season at the Everton New Stadium. Uh, Everton have confirmed that uh, adult prices uh, adult prices start from £640. That is adults aged 22 to 64 uh, 640 ranging up to £900. There is concessionary pricing as well. Kids under 11, uh, then there's the juniors 11 to 17, young adults 18 to 21 and senior citizens 65 plus. Um, kids under 11 season tickets, they're priced at £199 across all stands. Uh, there is rail seating available to uh, Evertonians for the first time. Uh, 5,000 rail seating uh, places available in the south stand lower. 
And obviously, Everton are uh, proud to say that they offer 37 pr- uh, price points compared to just 10 at Goodison Park. Um, there's an immersive virtual venue tool that helps you choose your seat. Uh, and there is also the opportunity for direct debit payments as well for your season tickets. Uh, there's a lot of information on Everton's website as well. All the price points as uh, we gear up to moving to the Everton New Stadium next season. Listen... Initial thoughts, uh, I thought it might be slightly dearer, so there is an increase, of course there is, but I think we were all accept- all expecting it, weren't we? But we all know now, we, we got the, obviously the, the virtual tool came out earlier in the week for us to have a look at those seats, and now we know the uh, the price points of these as well, so... It's all getting very, very real now, isn't it, as we move forward and, you know, we leave Goodison Park, but we've still got that little thing of it, having to win games of football to make sure we have a comfortable second half of the season. And We've got two opportunities at Goodison Park next week, Wolves are home, and obviously the last ever Merseyside derby, or last ever Premier League Merseyside derby to take place at Goodison Park, so... Can the Blues make history? We will see. That is it for the News Daily. Make sure you check out all of our content over the weekend. Have a fantastic weekend. See you later.